Hey everyone, Mr. Macintosh here, and Apple has released macOS Tahoe to developers from WWDC. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a USB installer boot disk for beta and public version. Let's jump in and get started. So, what is a macOS USB installer used for? Well, you can use the USB boot disk to be able to boot to recovery, and you can upgrade macOS, reinstall macOS, use it for troubleshooting. You can install on a second volume or install on an external hard drive. Once you know what you can use a bootable installer for we can start to download the full macOS installer first. And one of the biggest changes for the macOS Tahoe beta and public versions of the full installer is the size. It is 17.5 gigabytes and you cannot use one of the smaller 16 gigs anymore flash drives. You have to jump up to the, for example, 32 gigabytes or larger to be able to create the installer. So once you have that, we can download the full installer. Make sure that if you're using the Apple supported ways, for example, through the App Store or using the Fetch full installer, and I show a full video on how to download the full installer four different ways and I'll include a link for that if you want to go through those different options. Make sure the Mac that you're on is supported for Mac OS Tahoe. If it's not, then you're going to have to use the easiest way and that's to use my database here with direct links and being able to download the full installer right from your browser and it'll download right to your downloads folder. For example, all you need to do is scroll down and you'll see the public versions here and you'll see the beta versions here and you'll see these install assistant links that are directly from Apple. You'll see that the Apple link here and you click on this and it'll automatically download to your downloads folder. This is what the installer will look like when it's down in your downloads folder. Install assistant.pkg. Run this installer and then when the installer is done, you will see either the beta install if you download the beta, install macOS beta, or the public version macOS Tahoe installers in your applications folder. Once you have that, you're ready to move to the next step. Okay, the next thing we need to do is prepare your USB flash drive. Usually the create install media will erase the drive properly, but I like to plug in the USB flash drive or the USB hard drive and you'll see it load on the desktop right here, USB, and then erase it properly. And remember, the create install media process will erase everything on this drive. So if you have anything that you need to back up on here, now's the time to do it. Once you open up the disk utility, which is an applications utility folder, you'll see external drive. And if you don't see that, you can click here and click show all devices or view show all devices and you'll see your external drive here this is the top level in the usb flash drive so what we need to do is click on the top level drive because we need to be able to see the three format options because we need to make sure the scheme is guid partition map the format is not apfs it is mac os extended journaled and you can name it whatever you want and click on erase and I'm doing this step because sometimes if there's write problems or any kind of formatting issues, like you just bought the drive and it's formatted in MS-DOS, this is a way to save time. So now it's ready to go. We'll click on Done and we'll close Disk Utility and open up the terminal. Okay, now that we have the USB drive erased and ready to go, we're going to open up our Applications folder so we can see our full installer here. And we're going to open up the Terminal application, which is in Applications Utilities folder. Now what we need to do is we need to pick whether we have the beta or the full installer or the public version. But once you pick the one you want, you want to click on it, right click on it or control click on it, and then click show package contents. We're going to go into the contents folder. We're going to go into the resource folder, and then we're looking for create install media, and then we can just drag it over. But first we need to run this command as an administrator. So we'll do sudo space, and then we'll drag over this binary to the window and we've got the full command typed in. Now we need to say where it needs to install to. We'll hit dash dash volume space and then we can drag our USB fast drive right over to the window. Look, it fills out the total path. Now hit enter and then we'll be prompted for an administrator password. Type that in and then we'll click in Y to erase the drive. And there it goes. It's going to erase the drive. And then when the drive is erased again to verify it, it will now copy over all of the installer files to it. And we'll see it remounted here. It has now been remounted as the name install Mac OS beta. And you can monitor the copy process by opening up your activity monitor and then clicking on disk. You know, it's making the disk bootable and now it's starting to copy the files to disk. And you can see that the speed now has jumped up pretty high. Now we're reading and writing to the USB external disk at around 309 megabytes a second. So this thing is flying 
here. And again, it all depends on how fast your drive is and the transfer speed. Just about done here. All right, complete. Now the drive is available at Volumes Install Mac OS Beta. Now one more thing I'd like to do is change the icon of the Mac OS Beta. So all we need to do to do that is click on it once and then hit Command I. It'll open up the information box about the installer. If you go into the installer, whatever icon is here, you can click on that and click Command I, and then you can click on this move this to the side and hit command C to copy that icon and then paste, click on here, make sure it's highlighted and click command V to paste and check that out. Now you got a cool little icon for Mac OS Tahoe. And thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, post them below and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.